We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of baseball on MLB Network. Tonight we wrap up this three-game series between the St. Louis Cardinals and the Chicago Cubs. Colton Wong will stand in. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. Now the three and two pitch. A swinging bunt out in front of the plate. Throw to first is in time for the first down. Here's Dexter Fowler now. His matchup numbers with Hendricks. He's got five base hits in 21 at bats. He's gone down on strikes eight times as well. And he misses two and one. Change up, called a strike, and he comes back even at two and two. And we'll need to keep the hot chocolate flowing tonight. 42 degrees, our game time temperature. Three and two, full count. Now the payoff pitch home. Line hard to center field. Half is there, two gone. Here's Paul Goldschmidt now. The first chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. Two out, nobody on. Tried to crush that ball, and now perhaps needs to shorten up with two strikes. Hit down the third baseline. Bryant's got it. And the off balance throw gets him as he takes away a hit, and his side is retired. And that brings up Javi Baez. It'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Now the 2 1 pitch. Will not catch the zone, ball three. Fastball swung on and grounded out towards second, taken in by Wong, and one away. So that'll bring up Jason Hayward. Bases are empty, one man out. One and two now as that one's fouled off. And the pitch. the curveball that's in the dirt that time and it's back to even now at two and two popped him up Goldschmidt is there for it and he makes the catch for the second out here's Chris Bryant now hitless in four tries in the ball game yesterday the one one home Bases are empty here with two men out. Into the corner and slicing foul. Still one and two. Two and two now with two gone here in the home half of the first. These are the great matchups that happen throughout the course of a game. I don't got him looking, and that'll do it. The inning is over. Here's Matt Carpenter. He comes into this April contest as one of the hottest hitters in the league. His season average up into the high 300s now. There's no way you could have forecasted this kind of season from this guy. Not to take anything away from him. But I don't think many people in baseball considered him to be one of the league's best hitters for average coming into this year. The one two is taken for ball two. Ball three not close with the sinker that time. 
Now the three and two pitch. A bouncer up the middle. There's Baez. Throw to first will be in time, and there's one gone here to start the second. So that brings in the power hitting middle infielder Paul DeYoung. Two hits and eight tries for the series. One and one, here it comes. Nope, at the ball. Sitting in a good spot right here. Two ball, one strike count is yet to see a fastball. Have to be sitting on one right here. Uh, the catcher wanted it down and they got him to chase it for strike two. And that's low, so a good eye there as he works the count back full. The 3 2 pitch. This one's blooped out toward right center field. And that'll get down for a base hit. That is good. So now to the plate, Yadier Molina, and he lays off here. A nice job. It's ball four. First and second now with one away. The next to bat for St. Louis, Tyler O'Neill. Couple of hits for him in four trips in yesterday's game. Ah, changed things up on him, and he got him to swing through it. One and two now. That misses, and we're even at two and two. No score here as we play inning number two. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. Striding in, Lane Thomas. His average coming into this one is just barely over 200, so he'll be looking to turn the page on a slow start here. The set and the 1-1. One -one. And he lays off the pitch down and away. Ball two. Has to be a challenge pitch coming up here. He probably doesn't want to flirt with loading the bases. Strike swinging, timing a little off on that one. The set and the 2-2. I don't think he can afford another base runner here, so whatever pitch he feels best about, whichever one he feels most comfortable with, that's the one I expect him to turn to. Baez fields it cleanly. On to first, and the Redbird rally goes for naught as that ends the inning. half of the second set to go next to hit will be Wilson Contreras and he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season now a fastball gets the upper part of the zone for strike two that's a pitch he'd like to have back you're not going to see very many pitches like that from a pitcher of this quality I'm sure he'd like to have that one back to take a swing at it here's another one too and he takes strike three called on the fastball. One gone. So the base is empty here with one away. And into bat next, the left-handed hitting first baseman, Anthony Rizzo. And now a curveball that's low and in the dirt for a ball. It's two and one. Lifted down the line in left. And this will wind up a foul ball. The 2-2. Two -two. Bottom of the second here with no score. And he fouls this one off. Another one sent foul. Hey, have an A-B right here. I know it's frustrating the heck out of the pitcher. You keep fouling these pitches off, maybe one misses over the heart of the plate. And he can only battle for so long as he's finally set down that here after an eight-pitch at-bat. A shot down the first baseline. Oh, and he has some trouble with it. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. So in now is the Cardinals pitcher, Jack Flaherty. Nine, one, and two do up. This is foul right side. The one two. Now this is on the ground for Baez. It's short. 
throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. So the bases are empty with one man gone, and that'll bring up Colton Wong. Here now the 2-2. Down the third baseline. Oh, what a stop on the slide. It's there, and he's out. Digging in now, Dexter Fowler. 0 for 1 here in the early going. Third inning, no score to this point. And they'll go off speed here as this pitch misses. It's 2-1. Not surprisingly here, this is on the ground to the right side. They'll whip this one to first in time, and that ends the inning. And that'll bring in the Pittsburgh area native Ian Happ. He comes in after a day of rest yesterday, so we'll see if it did him any good. Just hung in there on that one. Another 1 2 delivery. Slapped hard the opposite way. And that's the first hit in this one for the Cubbies. Batting it. The second baseman. Stepping in now, Jason Kipnis down the first baseline. Half gets his lead at first, nobody out. In the dirt, and now let's see. And he is in there. They couldn't get him at second. And forget about the double play now as he'll move up to second here on the wild pitch. Good job going down and hanging with it that time. Open to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Now a ball lined to the left side. But this is a foul ball. Once again a 3-2. And he pops him up. Drifting toward the left side of the infield. There to take it in is Carpenter for the first out. So a runner on second with one down now. And the pitcher Kyle Hendricks will be the next to bat. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One -one. Oh, and this is swung on and missed. Four strikeouts already, and that's out number two. The next hub up, Javier Baez. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. The 1 1. Good fastball down around the knees there, taken for a strike. Hit hard on the ground towards second. A dive, but he can't get a glove on it. It's through for a base hit. And they're going to hold that runner at third base. As even with two away, they didn't like their chances there. Into the box, Jason Hayward. In the dirt and blocked behind the plate. Runners may have thought about it, but they'll stay put. And the count moves to two and one. Two and one, here it is. Couldn't be a whole lot better situation to hit it now. Three and one, two on. He's got to be thinking he's going to get a pitch he can drive right here. Line toward right center. And the Cubs are going to strike first here. It's a base hit, and they have taken a 1-0 lead. Now batting, third baseman, Ray. Oh, yeah. And now, Chris Bryant. Uh, could have been 3-1. and one. Instead, it's 2-2. Two and two. Hey, that's the modern game right now. North-south. Elevate that high fastball and... And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. All set for the start of the inning. Stepping in, Paul Goldschmidt. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. 
Yeah, Maddie, and it looked like a sinker in his last A-B that got him to roll over. Kind of similar situation right here. Similar stuff on the mound. Look for them to try and get him to do exactly the same thing as his last A-B. He's now got to fight to get it elevated just a little bit more. Carpenter. And he gets a piece of this one to foul it toward the backstop. The one-two. is swung on and missed he's down on strikes and the first two are retired here to begin inning number four stepping in for the Cardinals Paul DeYoung a base hit in his first trip yeah guys still the only hit in this game so far they've been pretty well shut down guys on the mound have really much controlled the whole outcome up until this point swung on and missed and that's the final out of the inning Here's the young catcher Wilson Contreras comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. And a slider runs away from him there and the count levels at 2 and 2. Outside in a full count 3 and 2. To be honest with you I'm a little bit more afraid of the guy on deck than the guy that's up right now. If I'm on the mound, I want this guy up right now. He's the guy that's got to beat me. Got him. So he's down on strikes for the oh, second time here tonight. The first One run on three Anthony. hits. No errors so far for the Cubbies. Rizzo. Fouled away. Lays off the one-two changeup, and he's worked it back to two and two. And it's fouled away. The 2 2. Freezes him. A strikeout looking. So bases are empty here with two gone. And next it'll be the left handed power threat, Kyle Schwarber. To 2 and 2 now. This lineup is flailing right now. They're having a hard time just making contact, let alone putting the ball in play. And he struck him out, his eighth punch out of the ball game, and that one ends the inning. So digging in now, Yadier Molina reached base via the walk in his first plate appearance. Here's the one and one delivery. Now this is on the ground for Baez at short. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out, one away. So one away here with the bases empty. And into bat next will be Tyler O'Neill. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Long run for the center fielder. He can't get there as it falls in. The better fielder, the 35. Lane. To the plate now, Lane Thomas. And he'll try to pull back a swing, but he'll do so unsuccessfully as that's ruled a strike. Inside and a hair low. It's two balls and two strikes. The 2 2. Is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. Into the box, Jack Flaherty, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Trying to hold the lead, here's the delivery. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. So in now for Chicago, Ian Happ. He singled and scored in his first appearance in this one. 1-1. One, one. Popped him up. Carpenter in foul ground. And no one will track it down. The 1-2. Back up the middle. Oh, a diving effort as it's off his glove. And he'll make it to first easily on what will almost certainly be ruled an infield single. Second baseman, 
Standing in now, Jason Kipnis. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Back goes Thomas. He makes the catch. A great effort to get there and record the first out of the inning. So one gone in the inning here with the runner at first. And the pitcher Kyle Hendricks will be the next to bat. take no chances here as he swipes this ball away it stays a foul ball and with two strikes he's able to get this one down and he is in there now back to the top of the lineup stepping in Javier Baez he singled in two trips to the plate thus far the 1-1 one -one. Hot shot down the line. And he tries for the backhand reach at third, but he gets by the glove down the line. And the run will score from second to make this a 2-0 ball game. At the plate, Jason Hayward. One and two as the changeup had him out in front there. He's really got the strikeout pitch working now as he notches number nine in the ball game. Now Into the box now, Chris Bryant. 0 oh for two for him to this oh, yeah. point. This guy has been unbelievable. There were billboards outside Wrigley while he was still in AAA, and what does he do when he shows up? Rookie of the year, MVP. I mean, get in line. And a slider runs in on him as he has to lean out of the way. For the guy in the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's throwing a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. Has Hangs on him a bit that time as it's belted out toward deep center field. And he will not make the play. It's off his glove. He pulls into second safely as they also score a pair of runs on the play. Number 62 is ready, and he'll take the ball from the manager. So now to the plate, Wilson Contreras on the ground to the left side. Throw in time, and the side is retired. Top half of the sixth about to get started. Now to the plate, Colton Wong. No hits to this point. Change up taken for ball three, well below the zone. Hey, throwing the ball great up until this point. Don't want to allow a leadoff walk. Needs to just focus in on his mechanics right here. And a base hit, so the leadoff man is aboard. The batter, the right fielder. At the plate Dexter. now, Dexter Fowler Fowler. fouled off. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Schwarber will settle under it to make the play for the first out as the runner will have to head back to first. And that brings up Paul Goldschmidt. He's rolled into ground outs a couple of times already here in the ballgame. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Into the bleachers and gone! Into the box, Matt Carpenter. Two balls and a strike to Matt Carpenter. Two runs, four hits, and no errors so far for the Redbirds. Fastball is looked at for strike two. As anticipated, here's a ground ball now to the right side. And he'll whip this one over to first, and he gets his man for the second out. Stepping up now, Paul DeYoung. He went down on strikes last time up. DeYoung. Trying to send him packing for the second time. Hot shot to third. Bryant is up with it. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. Oh. 
Anthony Rizzo stands in now. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. Even at a ball and a strike, here's the pitch. at that one and the count moves to two and two now on the Cub first baseman. That's lifted the other way out to left. On the run is O'Neill. He makes the catch. A great effort to get there and record the first out of the inning. Now at the plate, Kyle Schwarber. He's 0 for 2 with a strikeout in this one. Inside corner called a strike one and two. Breaking ball there is down. Good job of laying off. It's back to two and two. Now here it comes. Fastball didn't miss by much, and it's a full count now. Three and two. And he fouls this one off. A full count now to Kyle Schwarber. Grounder hit hard down the first baseline, but this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. A swing, and this one is blasted to right field. Nothing's gonna stop it. And that's off the scoreboard. What a blast! Into the box now, Ian Happ. Starts to go around, but the home plate umpire says he held up ball two. And he misses again, ball three. Waiting his turn on deck next is Jason Kipnis. And that's outside. He lost him ball four. So a runner at first now with one away. And standing in now, the power hitting second baseman, Jason Kipnis. A ball and two strikes to Kipnis. Tough pitch to lay off there, but he did, and it's even up at two and two. That's a good pitch to lay off right there, that cutter inside, and that is a real tough pitch for hitters to lay off of. And a lot of times, if you do swing at that cutter in, you're going to end up with some firewood in a broken bat. Working for the punch out and the offering. Checked his swing there, and did he go? No, he did not, says the third base umpire, so it's ball four. The pitcher, Kyle Hendricks, steps up to the plate in a sacrifice situation, so let's see if that is indeed on right here. The 1-1 one -one home is going to be a sacrifice attempt as he gets it down. Wong for one. On to Goldschmidt, but too late as they'll just get the one. Here's Javier Baez, and they're runners at the corners now. Fastball didn't miss by much, and it's a full count now, three and two. Three, two, two out, runner on first. Lots of possible. Threw it right past him, a swing and a miss at the gas, and that ends the inning. Rowan Wick is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 50. At the plate, Yadier Molina. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. This is skied into short left center. Baez is calling for it. One down. Standing now in, back. Tyler O'Neill, one for two with a double on his line thus far. 5-2 our score as we play inning number seven. And a swing and a miss here, so it's a quick two outs to start the seventh. Stepping in, Lane Thomas. He started out the evening 0 for 2 so far. The 3-1. Swung on and missed a full count now. That's just too much velocity upstairs to get good wood on it. It's going to have to lower his sights. 
This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Half will get there and he puts it away to retire the side. John Brebbia will come on to pitch now as he'll move into the eighth spot in the lineup on the double switch here. Harrison Bader is into the ball game as well as he'll slide into the pitcher's spot, hitting ninth now on the double switch. Number 48, Harrison Bader. And that's into the corner of foul ball and right. Here he comes again, 1-2. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. Ready once now again, back. Chris Bryant, who drove in two runs Bryant. on a double in his last at-bat. Oh, yeah. The 2-1 home. Hit on the ground toward the left. A diving effort here as he gets a glove on it. Throw will not be in time at first. A good effort that time, but not enough to prevent them from getting a one-out base runner. To the plate now, Wilson Contreras. He struck him out the third time he's fanned in the game. So it's a runner at first with two men out, and that brings in Anthony Rizzo. Now the one and one pitch is strike two swinging. He's staring a hat trick in the face right now after that swing. He has just got to find a way to zone up a little bit more. You cannot expect to make solid contact. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention. So a new pitcher entering the now fray now. It'll be the hard throwing right hander, Craig Kimbrell. And that'll bring up the former top prospect, Harrison Bader. And he's getting his first plate appearance here in the eighth after entering off the bench just a little bit ago. And he'll come back with one in the dirt as the count moves to two and one now. Kimbrell is a guy known for his lights out stuff. He tends to rack up strikeout numbers at a very high rate. However, he does at times get wild. Walks have come back to bite him on more than one occasion. You know, it's not uncommon, Matty V, for a relief pitcher to come in with really good stuff. And it seems like he's either really hit miss. He'll rack up a lot of strikeouts, but if he's not quite on, he'll also rack up a lot of base on balls. And that can cause a pitching coach and a manager to really start to pull their hair out. Now the one and one pitch. Taken strike two. Got to find a way to scratch at least one across. You do not want to take on the monster closing the game down three. Popped him up. Rizzo moving to his left. He hauls it in without any trouble. And there are two away. Ready now. now. Dexter Fowler. Right it was a fly out Dexter. for him in his last trip. Fowler. We're in the eighth inning now of a five to two ball game. And he comes back with one down and in for ball three. Part of the order on deck, so keeping this two hole hitter off the bags is always important. Now a fastball as he just reared up and let that one fly, and the inning is over. Your attention, please. New pitcher now, to tell you about. It's a guy drafted number six number overall 21. out of North Carolina in 2006. Andrew. The six foot six Miller. inch lefty Andrew Miller. Digging in, Kyle Schwarber. He's coming off a solo homer in his previous trip. The last at bat, Matty D. We heard this guy's a good fastball hitter. He got a fastball, and didn't miss it. We'll see if they pitch him a little bit differently this time and mix in some off speed pitches. And there's one away. Digging in to try it again. Ian Happ. It was a walk in his last trip. Here's the payoff pitch. And the slider gets him swinging. Two gone. So striding in. Jason Kipnis. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Look into Molina. Now the 1-1. One, one. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. Yank the slider across that time, laid off for a ball. I'd be real surprised if he goes back out away there on the mound. This is a count for a fastball challenge, and we'll see if he's ready for it in the box. 
Crowd gets up for the 3 2. And this is taken low for ball four, and they'll have themselves a two out base runner here after all. Nico Horner will look for some two out magic here as he'll pinch it with two gone and a runner at first. There's ball two as the slider dips below the zone. All even now, two and two. Open to send him packing, pitch on its way. Fastball laid off well below the knees. Fly ball right down the line and left. And this is going to find some real estate out there as he comes through off the bench with extra bases. And the run will score all the way from first. It's now six to two. The batter number nine. In now, Javier Baez. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. The one-two. Lifted down the line and left. And that will end up a foul ball. Great job of running that fastball in on his hands right there with two strikes. Even though the batter's able to foul. There's a swing and a drive, and everybody's just going to sit back and watch that one fly. A no-doubt home run. John Gant enters now in a mop-up role as he'll try to keep the deficit right where it is. Number 53, John Gant. At the plate, Jason Hayward. Shin high. That's taken for a ball. Counts even to Hayward. Two balls and two strikes. One of my favorite pitches in the game right there. The old Greg Maddox equalizer. Started at the front hip and bring it back. Three runs already home here. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. And there's a fastball well off the plate inside. Hey, this guy's a hard guy to put away. He's fouling off some tough pitches. 2-2 two -two count, and he just seems to keep hanging right in there. And Hayward has a base hit. Standing in now, Chris Bryant. Oh, yeah. Got him. And he goes down on strikes for the third time. Ryan Tapera comes on from the pen, hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. Trying to pick things up where he left off. Paul Goldschmidt. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. That last at bat, he didn't crush that changeup for a home run. But listen, a home run is a home run. This guy's awfully strong, and he can hit it out to any part of the ballpark. One ball, one ball and two strikes to count. The one two. A swing and a ground ball to third. And that is in the left field. So the leadoff man's aboard to kick off the ninth. The third base, number 13. Matt. Carpenter. Into the box, Matt Carpenter. And there's a missile off the bat, but it's foul. The one two. Hit sharply toward the right side. Oh, and he misses it. The second for one. Back to first. The ninth inning double play, and they're an out away from closing this one out. So Paul DeYoung digs in next. Cardinals down to their final strike here. Three. Didn't miss by much there, but it's just a bit high. Great take right there, but the last thing you want to do is be called out on strikes to end the game. Now a ball hit high down the left field line, but back in amongst the spectators, foul. Has them down to their final strike. Here it comes. Popped him up. Contreras over to his left. Makes the catch, and that's the ball game.
Hey, one of the keys to having a good record in baseball is to win some games at home. So this was a big win to win at home in front of their home crowd. Eight to two tonight's final. The Chicago Cubs led this game from the third inning on and never wavered. Kyle Hendricks wins his third of the season. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney down on the field, and the rest of our crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. Thanks for watching MLB Network. Here now is the final line score tonight. First for the victorious Chicago Cubs. Eight runs on 11 hits. No errors. They left seven men on base. For St. Louis, two runs on five hits. No errors. They left three men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and ten minutes. Tonight's fate attendance at Wrigley